Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning. I'm going to film this video, edit this video, and get it all out to you all in one day. I get an A for effort. If I look a little tired, I just woke up, got myself dressed, and I have to get these chickens out because they're starting to fuss. Ooh, the temperatures really dropped this morning. Well, this is not going to be a very long video, but I have some things I want to share with you again. And when I first made my video yesterday, I just, I just didn't know what I could share, what I wanted to do, how I wanted to share with all of you different things. And I've had a lot of people praying overnight. I did sleep very good and I'm so thankful because, you know, sometimes we get blindsided and things happen that we never expected to happen and our reactions are really what's important and I did have confirmation from God that is for sure I asked God yesterday before I went away for the day I said Lord I said can you please give me a sign and boy oh boy did he give me a sign but I want to share a few things with you and well, what Satan meant for bad, it's going to turn into good. And I think maybe I can share a little more about some things. And well, let's just sit down here and let me talk to you. I'm going to try to have this unedited too, because it's so much easier for me. Because when a video is unedited, then I don't need to work with all of the, you know, different intros and take all the time to put it together. Okay. So, this is a heart to heart, and I'm going to probably put on it spiritual because that way people know it's a, it is a heart to heart. And while I am holding true to everything I said yesterday, I will not be sharing quite as much personal. I am not going to lay down, and I am not going to allow a few people to determine what I share on YouTube. So we're going to backtrack a minute. It was a real big confirmation to get rid of my Facebook. And I had got rid of my Facebook years ago. And then what happened was I kept my group. So I didn't really use Facebook anymore, but I kept my group because my group was other people. And that affected other people. I did not want to get rid of the group. What was so difficult for me was I had to get rid of the group. And the reason why is... It was not to punish my amazing 99% of my subscribers that were part of that group. And that's what was so hard to me. But when my YouTube channel can affect innocent people, then I need to do something about it. I am not giving glory to what a few people tried to do. But I will say this. In my group, there were some bad apples. And they were anonymous. While I have pretty much a good idea who they were, I don't know exactly who they were. And this left the internet world and became a threat in the real world. And for me, I needed to shut that Facebook down and make sure that people are not going to be affected by a few bad apples. And I slept about it. I thought about it. I had people praying about it. I had a confirmation by a lot of people that my heart to hearts and sharing what God has done in my life is extremely important. And I want to thank every single person who's prayed for me. And what was tried to be done for evil did not work at all. It didn't work at all. <laughs> not at all. And it just instructed my, me and my community to be even stronger in God. And so I really want to thank everyone so much for your prayers. And just continue to pray for me. And continue to pray for people who share their faith or just people in general. I gave two scriptures at the end of my video yesterday. And those scriptures hold fast to all of us. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen in Jesus name and I am not going to stop sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ in my life because Jesus has transformed me 360 degrees and he has formed me and he has made me anew and while on my weekly videos six days a week I share 
just my life in general, homesteading and my Amish type lifestyle, I will not stop and bow down and say, no more about what God has done in my life because I'm afraid of those bad apples that want to go beyond the internet and they want to try to search, seek and destroy. And so I have a stronger faith. What happened, I could have been thrown into such anxiety and panic attacks because I am a sensitive person. I am not like some YouTubers, which are amazing in my eyes, that can just go on the internet and do whatever they want and don't worry about other people and don't worry about the effects of other people. But see, I take all of my subscribers at heart and all of the people and the, and the friendships at heart and I don't want anyone to be persecuted that are innocent. And that's why the group had to go because I can't control the group. And so I couldn't control, you know, what they, a few bad apples could do to other people. While it was really hard to make those steps, to pause everything and then to slowly delete everything on Facebook, just Facebook, not YouTube, because YouTube, I have all of the um, measures in place where I can really just freely share my life with all of you. And, you know, <sighs> when you put yourself out there for the world to see, not everybody is going to like it. And that's okay. That's okay because I don't like everything that I see on YouTube. And it is a free country, a free world that you can just scroll on by and click on the things that you like. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that wonderful? That if you're just sitting there with YouTube and you can just scroll on by and if you see a title that says, what was meant for evil turned to good and you don't like talk about the Lord, you could just scroll on by. But it's amazing that if you see that title and you are really interested in the power of the Lord and what he can do in your life, you can click on that and you can learn some wisdom and some guidance through it all. So when you start doing things for Christ and you do it in a mightily way and you do it with your whole heart, remember that you are going to be attacked and that when you are attacked, it's because Satan wants to zip your mouth and you to throw away the key. But when you zip your mouth and throw away the key, you are not impacting anybody else. Your story is your testimony. Hallelujah, your testimony is your story. And this testimony I just had, you know, it's a part of my story. It's a part of a, like, I am not going to be silent. I am gonna raise it from the rooftops, what Jesus has done in my life, because he has incredibly changed me 100%. If it was not for Christ, I would not be here today. Hallelujah, amen, and I'm here with a passion more than ever before to share my life with all of you. We have a mighty, wonderful personality, those of you who are extremely sensitive. It is an amazing personality. It's a personality that can be used for Christ, for good, and it's a personality that could be shut down easily because of the one who hates when we speak about Jesus. And I realize today that, you know what, my personality, because I'm super sensitive, that is a wonderful thing that God has given me, but it's a thing that I cannot bow down and let the evil one dictate to me because I'm sensitive and I'm fearful of what, you know, a panic disorder and things could come back. I am going to boldly go and I'm going to boldly preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because that is what is empowering me. I will not allow anxiety disorder. I will not allow panic disorder come and affect me because I am afraid of what a few things could happen. Amen. So I am here and I am on fire. If you want to hear what Jesus has done in my life and you want to know Jesus as your personal savior, keep watching my videos because I am going to be sharing with you what Christ has done in my life. I'm going to do it in a way that it shares with me so it's not going to be drama mama stuff. It's going to be me, what Christ has done in my life.
that affected me. Hooey! I just want you to know that I felt your prayers. I felt your prayers. And I know that all things happen for good that those that love the Lord. Keep everyone in your prayers that are reaching a wide a variety of people. Keep everyone in your prayers that are on YouTube or any platform. The harvest is ready. The time is short. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that we are here for a reason for this season right now in our lives. And I am so overwhelmingly happy and joyous because I know there were prayer warriors that were praying for me all night. And I know from the words that God has given to them to give to me that I am shielded up and I am ready to go. And I want to thank you guys so much for sticking with me through the thick and the thin. And today and tomorrow and the next day, we will continue to share our stories and through it, lives will change. Hallelujah. Thank you guys.